out, Universal Pictures is the most famous studio to give us mummy movies. It's not the only one. And Hammer Films would answer the call and throw their hat in the ring of mummy movie mania. Mummy movie mania. In 1959, they would release The Mummy. Huh. Boy, that's an original title. Admittedly, this Hammer Films counterpart is a bit of a reboot of the 1932 Universal Pictures Mummy movie. However, it contains plots and characters directly from The Mummy's Ghost, The Mummy's Tomb, and The Mummy's Hand. This movie was received fairly well, and just like all the other Hammer Films monster movies, this is more ghastly than the Universal Pictures version. And if you're a fan of Hammer Films, then it won't surprise you that The Mummy stars Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee. Like practically all the Hammer Films movies. In 1964, Hammer Films would release another mummy movie with The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. And since I apparently like immediately proving myself wrong, this movie does not star Christopher Lee or Peter Cushing. In 1967, Hammer Films would give us The Mummy's Shroud, which again, doesn't star Christopher Lee or Peter Cushing, so I'm doing pretty good so far. And finally, in 1971, Hammer Films would finish up their mummy movie Movie Mania with blood from the mummy's tomb. Oh, come on. This has to star Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing. It doesn't? Oh, man. This movie is interesting because it's based on The Jewel of Seven Stars, a novel that was published in 1903 and was written by Bram Stoker. Bram Stoker. Wow, it doesn't seem like many people know about this book. I mean, let's face it, when you write Dracula, that's all people are going to focus on. Well, anyways, this movie is very loosely based on this other Bram Stoker's novel, and it's a mummy movie that really doesn't have much to do with mummies. I mean... There's a severed hand that crawls around and chokes people and stuff like that. So that's pretty darn neat. And it's important to point out that all four of these Hammer Films mummy movies are about different mummies. None of these movies are related to each other, nor are they sequels. It's always a different mummy. You know, it's, it's a different guy. And some of these movies use the mummy in a different way. They see him as a golem, a tool to be used for evil purposes. Someone is controlling him via a magic spell to do some murderous mischief and mayhem. These movies' existence on VHS is rather hard to follow. Warner Home Video would release The Mummy in 1985 in one of their classic Warner Brothers clamshells, and they would release it again in 1987 in just a normal cardboard sleeve. The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb wasn't even released on VHS in the States, so that's pretty hard to track. In 1998, Anchor Bay Home Video would release The Mummy's Shroud in this neato clamshell. Anchor Bay would also release Blood from the Mummy's Tomb in 98, However, this one is very hard to find. They must not have made a lot of them. You can find it, but it's not cheap. Hey, rare production in the past means expensive prices in the future. Yeah, Hammer Films movies on VHS is a rather tricky thing. They all seem to have different distributors if they were even released on VHS at all. Anyways, finding the other Hammer Films mummy movies that were released on VHS is a rather reasonable task. Relatively cheap and easy to find. But keep in mind that if you search The Mummy VHS, the results are going to show the Universal Mummy first. Specificity is everything. Perhaps you like your mummy movies to be a little bit more obscure. Well, to wet your whistle, maybe you would like 1975's The Mummy's Revenge, a Spanish mummy movie that's barely heard of over here in the States, starring that Spanish Christopher Lee, Paul Nashi. And this would be released on VHS in the U.S. in 1986 by Unicorn Home Video with cover art that is absolutely inexcusable. If you want this work of art, it's very hard to find and very expensive. Believe it or not, Unicorn Home Video would release it again in 2002. I don't know what's harder to believe, the fact that Unicorn Home Video was still around then, or the fact that they even bothered releasing a VHS that late in the game. And the cover art is sort of better, though it is kind of like you put out a flaming turd with another turn. And this is hard to find and very expensive as well. If you're looking for even more mummy movie obscurities, perhaps 1981's Dawn of the Mummy will satisfy your appetite. And this is an Italian horror movie, so you just know it's gonna be ultra gruesome. I don't know what it is about Italian horror movies. They're just, uh, 
way too much. So much so that when this film premiered in the UK, it was actually confiscated and the filmmakers were temporarily detained by way of Section 3 of the Obscene Publications Act. Yeah, the UK has laws where if your movie is too nasty, you're going to get arrested. Dawn of the Mummy would be released on VHS in the US in 1983 by Thorne EMI Home Video. Hard to find? Yes. Expensive? Yes. Yep, this is one of those movies that's just a VHS treasure. Watch, Watch the full, full episode, episode here, here, as well as other classic Captain Adams VHS pirate ship adventures. And please hit subscribe.